Hey guys, Tay you are here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you've already been here, thanks for coming back. So in today's video, I'm going to be creating this look for you guys. I don't know if you'd consider this video a shop my stash, but I went through my collection and I picked out a couple of products that I haven't used in a really, really long time. And I used those products to create this look right here. So if you are interested, then please keep on watching. Before we start the video, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time your girl uploads a video. And follow me on Instagram. Uh, with that being said, let's jump right into the video. All right, y'all, so brows are already done. I did use pencil for my brows today. I used the Fenty Beauty Brow Pencil. You guys, I want to play with a little bit of color for the eyes today. So I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place the berries mini eyeshadow palette and probably another eyeshadow palette just to create a quick look i did use the two face born this way concealer as my eyeshadow base and i did set it with the bite beauty change maker press powder i'm going to be taking the m573 brush from morphe and i'm going to start with this shade right here and this shade is very pigmented so i'm just going to lightly pat that shade right here I'm going to be taking the E27 brush and I'm taking this shade right up here to lightly blend that harshness on the first shade. So I'm going to take the M433 brush and I think I'm either going to use this shade or this shade to make it a little bit deeper. I'm going to go with this one first. If anything, I'll use the one down there. So that didn't do much, so I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to use a little bit of this shade down here to make it a little bit deeper. I'm taking the brush from this light shade here just to lightly blend that harshness right there. All right, you guys, I haven't done a cut crease in a while, so I want to cut my crease. I was going to use my P. Louise base, but y'all, I have three and I honestly feel like they're expired. So I'm not going to use them because the last couple of times I used them, the eyeshadow look came up patchy and we're off to a good start. So I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to use a little bit of the L'Oreal Full Wear Concealer to lightly cut the crease. All right, you guys, the crease is cut. One is definitely higher than the other, but I'll fix that later on. I'm going to use that same M433 brush, and I'm going to use a little bit of this shade just to lightly blend right in here. Lightly, because I don't want like it to get patchy. So this eye look is going down its own road. I'm going to take this Juvia's Place. Um, this is the Magic Mini Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to take this shade right here. And I'm going to pack that right there on the cut crease. And I am going to spray my brush with a little bit of my Garnier Spray. I'm just going to take back this M433 brush just to blend that in a little bit, just the edges out. All 
All right, you guys, I'm done with the eye look. I don't know why the shimmer looks blue on camera, but in person it looks pink. I'm going to apply some lashes and then I'll be right back. So lashes are on, the eyes are looking good. Well, in person, I hope they look just as good on camera. I'm going to be using my Lineage Glowy Makeup Serum. You guys, I haven't used this in a really, really long time. It's a very hydrating makeup serum. I'm going to use this instead of using primer because I'm going to be using a soft matte foundation. This is one of my favorite makeup serums haven't used this in a hot minute so I'm super excited to use this today All right, y'all, so for foundation, I'm using one of my favorite soft matte foundation. This is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. This is in the shade G100. You guys, this is in my top five foundation. If you've seen my top 10 foundations, then you know how much I love this foundation from Cover FX. It is no longer available on Sephora, but I will try to find it and link it down below for you guys. Love this foundation so much. I'm going to apply this with my Juno sponge. All right, y'all, for concealer, I'm going to use a concealer combo that I haven't used in a really, really long time. This is my Too Faced Born This Way concealer, and I'm going to pair this with my L'Oreal Full Wear concealer like this. Used to be that girl before I started using NARS with this concealer, so I'm going to use this one today. And for the under eyes only, I'm using the shade 410 in the L'Oreal Full Wear Concealer. And for the Too Faced, I use the shade Chestnut. To contour my face, I'm using the Oma Beauty Double Take Strobe and Sculpt Stick. I'm using the shade Brown Sugar. And I'm just going to be taking this 114 brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to rub the brush over the contour because this is very, very pigmented and then apply it to my face. All right, so I know that Oma contour really snatched my face. It is looking a little bit dark, but I will fix it like once I blend my concealer out. So I'm taking the same sponge that I use for my foundation to blend. I'm taking another Juno sponge. This is the lemon drop sponge to blend my under eyes. All right, y'all, so that blend right there fixed the contour being a little bit too much. I'm going to set with my Fenty Beauty setting powder. This was one of my favorite setting powders for a really, really long time. Like I stopped using Laura Mercier and was using Fenty, but I just always come back around to Laura Mercier. But this is a really, really good setting powder. I use the shade Cashew. I feel like this is just the perfect shade. It's not too dark, not too light. And the undertone is just really, really right. So I'm going to use this one today. And as always, I'm using the sponge that I use for my under eyes to blend any creasing that might have happened. And then I'll go in with a Real Technique sponge and my powder. All 
All right, so to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Sephora Matte Perfection powder foundation. I'm using this in the shade Mocha. Even though it's a powder foundation, it's not cakey on the skin. It's very light and it just does a really good job at setting your face. I did mention this powder in my recent must-have powder video. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave it up above for you guys. But this was one of my favorites. I haven't used this in a really long time and I'm going to be taking this on a Moda Pro powder brush. Just to get rid of some of this powderiness, I am going to go in with some of my Garnier Face Mist. All right, y'all, so for the lower lash line, I went in with a white liner, but it was too white. So I went in with the tiniest bit of brown liner just to tone it down, but I feel like it looks a lot better just to open the eyes up a little bit. And then I use the same shades that I use on my crease to just blend that out and applied a tiny bit of mascara. For bronzer, I started to bronze and I was using the Sephora Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade 06 Ibiza. This is a must have bronzer. I'm going to use a blush palette that I haven't used in a while and this is the OPV Born to Shine blush palette. This is what it looks like. I'm taking my Real Techniques blush brush and I'm just going to mix these three shades. Before we jump into the lips, I'm going to set my face with a little bit of my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So for lips, I'm going to show you guys the lipstick that I wanted to use, but I think it's time I get a new one. This is the <laughs> ColourPop Quickie Lipstick, you guys. This was one of my favorite nude lipsticks. I really need to get a new one because this is damaged. I tried to fix it, but it just didn't work. I don't know if this is discontinued, but I'm going to look and if I find it, I'll let you guys see what it looks like in another video. But today I'm going to be using my NYX Espresso Liner. And for lipstick, I'm using one of my favorites. This I haven't used in a really, really long time. And this is the MAC lipstick in the shade Honey Love. You guys, this is another one of my favorite nudes. Like when I just started to get into nude lipsticks, this was everything. It's a really, really light nude, but when I add the gloss on top, trust me, the gloss that I'm going to use is darker than the lipstick, but paired together, it will tone down the lipstick, but not too much. And this is the Pat McGrath gloss. This is in the shade Flesh Fantasy. This gloss, I've always wanted a full size, but I don't use it enough where I finished up this little mini right here because I have so much glosses. So this is what I'm using. And what I do is I take the lipstick and just go over top the gloss again. All right, y'all, that is it for the face. I'm going to take my scarf off and then come back and show you guys the finished look. All right, you guys, I am back and this is the finished look. I don't know if I said to you guys that I used a little bit of highlighter. I went in with one of my favorites, the NYX High Glass in the shade Golden Hour. You guys, I am super pleased with the way this look came out using some of my favorite products that I haven't used in a while. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. The lower lash line 
design is different but i feel like it looks really really good let me know what you guys think as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave your suggestions in the comments section down below once again don't forget to like share comment subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in my next one bye